Tyrus, if only one of us can survive, it should be you. I'll drink it. If you die, there would be nothing worth living for. Then let's drink it together. Give us the potion. My love, not even death can separate us. <coughs> Rhea! I... I'm sorry. You... you didn't drink it just now? You lied to me? I'm sorry, but I want to live. You said you'd die for me. You dirty liar! Go drown yourself! <laughs> this kind of drama, no matter how many times I see it, never gets old. Is seawater really that delicious? Salty enough to keep tears from falling? Wait. This is just seawater? We've been tricked? <laughs> How could you be so naive to believe those sweet lies about dying for each other? Oh, it's just you. Do you enjoy slinking around in the shadows all the time? Ugh, you're so dark and gloomy. It ruins my mood. Nara, are you wasting these two specimens? Hey, I caught these two with my own hands. I have the right to deal with them. The captain gave me that authority. The Day of Reckoning is coming soon. The captain invested such precious power in you. I hope you go back to the shadows and loom over someone else. I'm tired of your yapping. Hmm. I bet you're really scared of letting him down, aren't you? Such insolence. If it weren't for the captain's orders, I'd have taken your head off ten times over. Imagine it, dangling from a hook. <laughs> such a delightful de- I've made my stance clear. Proceed as you wish. Bye-bye! Ugh, can't stand her. Now that's ruined my mood! I should go back to doing something fun. Back to my two little playthings. Let me think. Oh, I know! Guard! Come put a noose around the man and give the rope to the woman! <laughs> Seeing as you, good sir, just lied to this pretty lady, she's probably dying to kill you. I'll give her the rope that decides your fate. Let's see if she saves you. It'll be so interesting. No, wait. I'll die for sure. Please. <laughs> Hearing you beg is so exhilarating. Why are you begging me? Shouldn't you be begging that little lady for your life? Anyways, these two are no fun anymore. Let's find some other entertainment. to rescue you. Please don't be scared. You're safe now. No one will harm you again. Really? Let's lower your husband down first. No! This starfish-eating dung deserves what's coming to him. You guys must have a bigger goal here, right? Why don't you check for any other hostages? And I can just stay here and watch over him. Do you know where Nara went? Are you planning to confront her? She'd probably rip- I've left a mark for my subordinates. They'll arrive soon. Great! I'm not sure, but she seemed- I didn't recognize her voice earlier, but I know of her. Vaughn- Are you here to get rid of the monsters? Chase all the bad guys away for you, Malay. Thank you. Come to think of it. I was right. 
Tessio's on the ch Should we go after Nara first, or search- Nara was also heading towards the chain keeper. I believe we'll be able to find both of them there. Ma'am, thank you for the information. Yes? Don't let hatred consume you. I understand. Thank you. Every sword is a witness. Why does Sonya look so hesitant? She's torn, because after all, her sister is the enemy. Actually, I've already led her to her death once. What happened? Nara and I grew up in Rustport. We were orphans and barely scraping by, so we turned to theft for survival. Nara hated it. She dreamed of leaving, so we saved up and bought two tickets out. But during our voyage, disaster struck. A tsunami capsized our ship. I was holding onto her hand, but a monstrous wave swept her away. I know, but if I had just held on tighter, or never brought her aboard that ship, or searched more diligently for her, then maybe... You can't go down that path. What's done is done. You've got to learn how to move on. At the very least, find a way to talk it out with Nara. And don't let her blame the wrong person. I don't even know how to explain it to her. She thinks I abandoned her and betrayed her. Didn't you see what she did with that couple? She put them through hell just to test whether they would betray each other. Perhaps that's her way of expressing her subconscious trauma. It's not your fault. You were just a kid back then, right? Let's find Nara and clear the air. Do you really think so? With all that deep-seated resentment and her unpredictable nature, will she even listen? Enough chatter. We're in the Whites' camp. We shouldn't linger in one place for too long. But trust me, no matter what happens, I'll make sure Nara won't harm you. With Sonya here, Chippy feels safe as houses. Magister, let's go find Nara.
We're wasting time here. Sonia, based on what you know of Nara... I'm not sure. My memories of Nara... All right. Any ideas, Magister? Yes! There might be clues there! So Chippy will bravely lead you all! Let's go! What a pity that the Whites left you with no protection. Sonia, you've got what you wanted, but do you really have to go this... After all, I am your father. Your father! How much of our brethren's blood has stained your hands while you colluded with the Water Whites? I am their boss. Dying for me is what they should do. You're not worthy. If I'm going down, then I'll take you down with me! The world has its own rules. Forest wisdom. <laughs> I'm getting old after all. I'm not as sharp. If I were younger, stronger, more agile. Your time has passed. I riff. You could have lived out your days in peace. <laughs> Retirement. Sitting on my thumbs, soaking up the sun. <laughs> I'd rather die. Sonia, from the day I took you in, I knew you'd rise to the top. You'd be my right. But now, you can't do this to me. I built the whispers up through my blood, sweat, and tears. This gang would be nothing without me. If only you were truly my child. And I'm sure... You already control way too many people. I'm glad I'm not one. Do not forget that I am the one who made you what you are. Deny it all you want, but you will never escape me! <laughs> Shut your mouth. Don't think you'll get a quick, easy death by taunting us. Our score isn't settled yet. I'll gladly wait until the day you're judged in court, and you can finally face your sins. You guys go on ahead. I'll join you after I tie him up nice and properly, so that he can't escape before he- Simbad, restrain your- Don't worry. I'll catch up to you guys soon. Waiting. Waiting. Waiting! You knew about us all along? Did you think I only had eyes for that dumb Bonnie? Oh, you sweet, naive thing! <laughs> Zip it! When my sister and I are talking, you keep your traps shut. Weren't you looking for Tessio, Sonia? I brought him right to you. How was it? 
Did you have fun? Judging by your face, you're not having as much fun as I am. What's the matter? I couldn't be happy. Nara. Enough with that pitying look. Don't treat me like I'm dead. My body may be wrecked, but my ears are sharp. Right now, I hear your heart pounding like crazy and the blood rushing through your veins. Oh, sister dear, don't tell me you're nervous or maybe even a little scared. What's got you trembling? Me? My hook? Or are you scared you'll end up like me? Enough. <laughs> I see now. You're afraid of my hatred. <laughs> it's just too funny. <laughs> and you do anything but laugh now. Since you're not in the mood to chat, then say hello to my hook. It's been dying to meet you. Your head, your heart, your limbs. It wants them all! The moon will charge ahead! Are you gonna do it? Are you gonna kill me, sister? Nara. Come on! Kill me! Like you did 11 years ago! Do it again! Do it, dear si- I'm sorry, Nora. Sorry? It's too late now. If you don't strike, I'll, I'll keep your head right by my bed. Your eyes will watch me. Always watching. Watching as I tear bodies apart and snap their necks. See these scars, Sonia? I came back from- Nara, I- <laughs> That look in your eyes. Yes, that's it. Keep looking at me just like- You were the one who taught me how to sew dolls. Did I learn well? What are you waiting for? Do it! Kill me. Kill me! Even if you kill me, I'll find you again! <laughs> I'm... sorry. I'm sorry. I can't do it. I'll take her back and lock her up. We understand, Miss Sonia. This must have been a very difficult decision for you. But make sure to keep an eye on her. We can't afford to have her showing up in Rustport again. That would be hard to explain. I know. Let's deal with the other whites. With Nara out of the picture, maybe they'll wise up and surrender. These ruffians want to surrender. What should we do now? Let's seize the chain keeper. Hi, fellas. Did I hear you're seizing the ship? <laughs> Guess I caught up at the right time. Sinbad, you're here. What about Tessio? I tied him up and dumped him in the hold, under the watchful eye of some other whispers. Don't worry. We gave him some special treatment. He's not going anywhere. Boss, thanks to the marks you left us, we've taken full control of the chain keeper. We've gotten most of the ruffians settled. Anyone else who doesn't cooperate can become... Send a messenger back to Luca to prepare a victory feast. Let's set sail! Oh, need me at the helm? That would be appreciated. Blasted fish scales. The ship we... Has a big scratch on the right side. 
Simbad, how's it looking on your end? There are a few big holes on the lower side of the keel in the hull, but luckily the mast is still intact. If we don't want this ship to be out of commission, we need to repair it as soon as possible. I see some beech trees over there. Those would work well. I'll stay here and guard these water whites and Nara. I'll go with you. I'm pretty good with my hands. <laughs>